Welcome back to Charlie's Edition, the Joy of Gay Sex Series, ladies and gentlemen. I am Charlie, a.k.a. Miss Charlotte Zay, and as I did on my old Joy of Gay Sex Series over on the Cross-Dressing Janice channel, I always used to do my topics, but at the same time make sure I look entertaining as well, okay? So, if you did not see part one, you guys, check out part one that's talking about your asshole, basically, okay? It's talking about using enemas, but don't overuse enemas, okay? Um, it's talking about shoving big dicks up your ass without using lubricant and how bad that is. So definitely, if you want information about that, go back, check it out. Now, this part is going to be focused on barebacking, which is a huge issue in the gay community. And those of you who don't know that term barebacking, it's basically having sex without a condom in the gay world. It can be used in the straight world and lesbian world as well, but I think barebacking is more popularly, or popularly used in the gay community. So, I'm going to read a little bit of information about barebacking. Um, of course, people who have sex, you know, all the time, it's, it's at your own discretion. Either you choose to use a condom or you choose not to use a condom, but there is big risks when it comes to not using protection when you are having sex, when you are barebacking. So, this is just going to give you a little information and insight on the pros and the cons, I guess. I, I really, I don't think there's pros to it, but yeah, basically the bad thing about barebacking. So, here we go. Barebacking is fucking without a condom. It's the single most dangerous sex practice there is. As a method of sexual gratification, it's an old or it's as old as recorded history. Until the arrival of AIDS, gay men never used condoms when screwing. In fact, pulling out before you came was considered rude. Until the mid nineteen eighties, condoms were deemed kinky, a sex toy among gay men. The AIDS epidemic caused the change in our way of having sex. As of December 2000, 775,000 people in the United States have been diagnosed with AIDS. Of course, the figure for HIV disease is much higher. One half million have died. One half million have died. The worldwide statistics are even more alarming. Since we know so much about the transmission of the virus, screwing someone without a condom is equivalent to two men playing Russian roulette with each other. Younger men seem to be more attractive to barebacking. Perhaps these risk-taking men haven't worn or watched the slow death of lovers and friends. For them, AIDS is history, like they're learning about the Vietnam War. It's simply not in their experience, as it is for an older generation of gay men. That's too bad, because it's a statistical certain a statistical certainty that some of them are going to pay a price, the diagnosis of HIV disease. <clears throat> it would be a mistake, however, to look at barebacking only from a moral perspective. Re recent research informs us that emotional problems influence a gay man's sexual behavior, including his contribu contribution in transmitting the HIV. Depression is the main corporate. Gay men who are depressed, including both acute and chronic depression, are far more likely to participate in unsafe sex. Men with impulsive personalities, especially excitement seekers, are another category of psychologically impaired gay men. They generally describe themselves as spontaneous, a claim that is untrue. A man who is spontaneous can make voluntary choices about his behavior. An impulsive man cannot. Both depression and impulsiveness can be effectively treated by both medication and psychotherapy. If you have a friend who is endangering his life by bear basking, or bear basking, why do I keep saying that wrong? Ask yourself whether psychological problems might be the cause. If so, taking a moral approach won't change his behavior, nor will accusing him of stupidity. Help him to make an appointment with a shrink, but only one well-versed in gay sex and HIV research. How does a responsible gay man, like you, fulfill his sexual desires, but not endanger himself and other gay men? If you're going to screw, carry condoms. Have them in your night table in your bathroom or bedroom. Insist that your 
sex partner use one if he's going to screw you. Put the condom on or put your clothes on. Ignore the, inter the intertrees of a man who says, you can screw me without a condom, especially since you can be sure that he said the same thing to the man who screwed him last night and the night before and so on and so forth. If for some reason either you are under the influence of alcohol or recreational drugs or a mix of both, you do bareback, but be sure to get tested about a month later. If you test negative, get tested again in two more months. If you believe that the man who screwed you might be HIV positive, treatment with AZT is available. There may be a day when condoms are no longer necessary because AIDS scientists have successfully produced a vaccine. That's still years off. In the meantime, lovers who are both HIV negative and who never trick out need not worry about the HIV or STD. So guys, <clears throat> like I said, people have sex at their own discretion. Either they, de they decide to use condoms, either they don't. Um, definitely when you are under the use of alcohol or any type of drug, you are more likely to have unsafe sex because you're not thinking straight. Um, but you always, no matter what, want to talk. If you have unsafe sex, it's your prerogative. You always want to make sure that you at least talk to your sex partner. You want to talk to him about anything. You ask questions. You do whatever. But most likely, 100% of the time, you need to wear protection because you never know. Someone could lie to you. Um, someone could not know that they have something. You just never know. So always make sure that you use condoms, ladies and gentlemen. Safety is the key when having sex. Okay. So, if you need to review or hear any more of this information, have any questions, comments about this topic, leave me a comment, leave me your question underneath the comment box, and definitely um, I will research that and get that information to you as soon as possible. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, continue to stay tuned. Like I said, I'll be doing certain topics on Wednesday and Thursdays. Um, unless I get a comment or a question from somebody that needs some answers more quickly, then I will definitely get back to you guys. But definitely check out um, the anus topic and check out this topic and definitely let me know what you guys think. Alright you guys, continue to stay tuned, subscribe, and uh, look out for more Joy of Gay Sex topics. Alright, this is Charlie, a.k.a. Miss Charlize signing out. And if you want to check out all my other 670 videos, just type in Cross-Dressing Janice 08, which is C-R-O-S-S-J-A-N-I-S 08. Just type that in under search on uh, YouTube and you will find my other channel. So, holla back you guys.